What is up, YouTube? Happy 2021! We made it! Can you believe it? Sometimes I can't. <laughs> it's a new year, which means New Year's resolutions. I really love making New Year's resolutions, and I think the reason why is because I'm super goal-oriented, and I think it's important to have something that drives you, that pushes you forward. We're gonna go through 2020 and how uh, it was kind of a dumpster fire of a year, right? January 2020 was actually when I started making vlogs, which is kind of funny because of course when I made that video, I had no idea about the pandemic. I didn't know how anything was going to turn out because you never do when you make those resolutions. You never quite know where the year is going to go. It's just your opportunity to set goals for yourself. So today, I thought it would be fun to go through that first vlog that I ever made and go over my New Year's resolutions for 2020 and see if I stuck to them. So let's get going. I have my laptop right here. We're gonna open it up and take a look at that video. I'm actually a little nervous for this because I haven't seen this uh, since I posted it on January 13th. So uh, let's take a look at it and here we go. If you haven't seen the video, it looks like this. Guys, look at my blonde hair. <laughs> I kind of miss my blonde hair. This is already super weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Happy 2020, everybody. This is Patricia Holly. I wanted to record this video as kind of a way of keeping me on track um, for 2020 and, and letting you into my life. I just kind of started this without really knowing what I wanted to say. So let's roll. Clearly. <laughs> Happy 2020. Why is 2020 so important? First of all, it's not only the start of a new year, it's the start of a new decade, which is massive. I already made a humongous do in 2020 because I feel like it could be a really big year. So without further ado, Oh ahead, no. <laughs> it was a really big year. If only I would have known what I know now. You guys, I am the reason 2020 was so bad. I doomed us all with that one line. Three. New Year's resolutions. Number one, I want to try something brand new. A lot of my friends have had a lot of success with the keto diet. And for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a high fat, low carb diet. So I did try the keto diet and I, it, no. Not for me, not for me. I don't really think that I've had a lot of success with, I'll call them fad diets. I, I don't think that's the way to do it. For me personally, the only thing that I've had a lot of success with in losing weight um, is calorie counting. And just like keto wasn't for me, calorie counting isn't gonna be for everybody. So that's just, that's my two cents. I, I did not enjoy the keto diet. I actually only did it for two weeks. So I'm gonna stop this. In review of that video, I had three New Year's resolutions. The first one was to try the keto diet and lose weight. The second one was to create more imperfect videos. And the third one was to create vlogs. So now that it has been almost a full year later, let's look back and see if I actually met those goals. Did I try keto and did I lose weight? Yes and yes. I did end up losing weight. Um, I took a little bit of a weird path with that because at the beginning of the year, I was working a new job. I had just started at Warner Brothers. I was trying really hard to um, adapt to the LA style of living and I ended up gaining about seven pounds and then I ended up losing 15 by counting calories. So, uh, all in all, I'm still down seven pounds from the start of the year. So yes, New Year's resolution number one, I did stick to. On to the second New Year's resolution was, should I start posting more imperfect videos? Meaning, if I post something that's not quite perfect. I used to dread getting down votes on my videos and now I, 
I mean, I still don't like it, but it doesn't bother me as much as, as it used to. In this first vlog that I did, something I really noticed is how incredibly uncomfortable I am on the camera because I'm so worried about saying something that you guys won't like. I'm worried about saying something that's gonna be misconstrued because I do have a habit of tripping over my own words. And I think that really comes across in that video. So let's go on to resolution number two. Did I create more imperfect videos? Well, absolutely. Ironically enough, I don't know that I would have even stuck to this one if I didn't have the COVID-19 shutdown. I finally got the motivation to perfect my home recording setup and even my streaming setup. So that was a little bit of a blessing in disguise for me. Because of that, I was able to record songs at home like Whiskey Lullaby, How Far I'll Go from Moana, Photograph by Ed Sheeran, and I even got to record Ed Sheeran's Afterglow and put it up the day that it came out. So for number two, yes, I also kept that New Year's resolution. That leaves us with number three. Did I stick to vlogging? Yes, I probably could have been better at vlogging. Uh, I just didn't really have a lot to talk about this year because again, nothing was really going on. The reason I wanted to make this video is that even though 2020 was, of course, a crapshoot. I was still able to meet every goal that I set for myself, not even realizing we would be in this situation. Even though the new year doesn't make all of that go away, it does have a significance that I feel like a lot of people aren't giving it credit for. 2021 is the dawn after the darkness. 2021 is the rainbow after the rain. We have to go through a little bit of adversity in order to reach our goals. We have to go through troubling times in order to appreciate the good times. 2020 may have been hard to get through, but it wasn't a bad year. It was a dumpster fire, but it wasn't for nothing. We learned that we are resilient. We learned to adapt and overcome. So moving into 2021, the biggest question would be, what is your mindset going to be? Right here and now, while you're watching this video, what are you going to choose that 2021 is gonna be for you? So if you're one of those people that decide that New Year's resolutions are silly, they're not worth it, nobody sticks to them, I did. Even during a pandemic, I did. And you know what else? I didn't stick to it at the beginning of the year. So there's no saying that the New Year's resolutions that you start in January, if you find yourself in June and you still haven't started them, you still have half a year. It's all about your mindset. Here's a mindset that I would suggest for you. And before I make the suggestion, I just want you to know that if you don't find yourself in this mindset 24-7, 365 days a year, that is fine. You are a human being, give yourself a break. If you have a super negative day, fine. We all have them. I'm just asking you to consider vacationing in your negative mindsets and then go back to living in your positive ones. It's kind of like eating right. You have your vegetables, which are your positives, and then you have your cookies and your cake. You can't expect someone to do juice cleanses 24 seven. Sometimes they want a brownie. If all they do is eat brownies, their health's probably not gonna be so great. And just like not eating your vegetables, if you hang out in negative town over here, it stunts your growth. I want you to grow. I want you to be a flower. I want you to grow. <laughs> so I encourage you to set New Year's resolutions and make new goals with me right now. Go ahead, I will wait. Now that you've all written your goals below, which I am super excited to read through, I'm going to give you my 2021 New Year's resolutions. And this year I have four of them because I'm an overachiever. Number one, I need to start drinking more water. I've never been good at hydrating and today is the day that that changes. Number two is to play guitar more. As you can probably tell by a lot of my covers, I do use backing tracks. When I covered Ed Sheeran's Afterglow, I was so proud of myself, not only that I picked up my guitar and I learned that dang song, even though I didn't play it perfectly, I was also proud that I was able to pick it up in one day. And that is only going to get better in 2021. I'm going to practice guitar more. Number three, I am still about five pounds away from my goal weight. So I am going to continue doing that now that I've found a method of weight loss that works really well for me. Side goal, I'm gonna finish this water bottle before this video ends. And my final 
final goal for 2021 is I want to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year. So if you would like to help me with that goal, hit the subscribe button below, hit the little bell so you'll be notified of my new videos, and share this with your friends if you liked it. If you're already subscribed to my channel and you still want to help me with that goal, go ahead and drop a comment below and give me content suggestions. Are you guys more into cover songs, my vlogs, my travel tips? Let me know in the comments below. Now if you were a little trepidatious before and you didn't want to put your 2021 goals in the comments below or you wanted to see what my goals were before you share yours, go ahead and drop them now. Feel free to add this video to your watch later playlist and watch it throughout the year to keep yourself motivated. And just know that if you ever find yourself in that negative slump, you can talk to me about it. You can come back in June, you can come back in August, November, December of next year, drop your comment here and just share your feedback. Not your feedback. I don't give a shit about it. I'm just kidding. It's normal. Let yourself feel things. If you've ever seen Pixar's Up, you'll know that sometimes you really need sadness. You're not a negative person. If life knocked you down in 2020, just make sure you use 2021 to get back up and keep swinging. I'm gonna finish this and then I'm going to end this video on one of my favorite quotes from a Disney movie. Water, gone. Disney quote, now. The flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. Remember I was saying before that we're all gonna grow together? We're gonna be rare and beautiful flowers by the end of 2021. We're gonna make a giant adversity bouquet and there's gonna be a thousand of us. So hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Now I have to pee.